What is going on, Lady Tipman? My name is Link, and today we'll be taking a look at the weapons and just go through everything that's basic with the weapons. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a list on what my opinion is, like what's what's worst to best, or go a little bit in depth on what guns are good, what they're good at, um, probably what you should spend your hard earned credits at, because a lot of people are struggling with earning credits. Um, so first off, let's just go through what's probably what people ask. This is how you attach sights. You just basically press on a gun and you press this little wheel. Uh, and you can choose where you want from the sight. Like as Scar it has a red dot on graphic and ACOG. Barrel has to come out yet. Under barrel, uh, some guns has it. Like this one has a, no, uh, this is more of an accessory. It has a flashlight. The flashlight isn't really like usable like they're like, like they're useful like you can use them but that doesn't give you any big benefits like i've noticed one out of ten times maybe uh the character that has like the player that has the flashlight on will be a little bit obscured uh sometimes but that's about it it happened like one time two one out of ten times so basically yeah but that's how you attach stuff like even the pistol has flashlight and it also had a sight right now uh but yeah so let's rank the guns so Basically, I would say it's not really the worst gun, but it's more of like the gun that is probably like the one you're gonna get the least out of. Like, I know a lot of people can get 100 kills with this gun, like, not only the sniper, but having this as the primary and then having grenades and pistol. Uh, but it's probably like a gun that requires you to sit a little bit more back. Like, I would say average players will have to play a little bit slow with it. Uh, so, therefore, um, it's more of a slower paced gun which means you get less xp and less kills per minute the person where would i say um so yeah like i would definitely recommend it if you want to fun. it's definitely a fun gun, gun to use uh it's a bit of a challenge sometimes like it's not really hard to use but it's a bit harder than the other guns like a tiny bit because it, it is a bolt action uh the worst gun in the game right now is probably the bss um with the new bullet traveling and ballistic system it's kind of bad because the bullets travel so slow and on range it takes a lot of bullets to kill people uh so it's pretty much just not worth using if you can get the mk14 which is i'll get that in a second uh but yeah like on this gun you you can have holo and pso uh the pso one sight which is a magnified scoped uh it's more like a 4x 6x maybe i'm not sure but it's a pretty decent scope like i like this better than the acog just because it looks so cool uh but you can also have the hollow the hollow is a bit broken as of right now uh it slaps your face when you use it but both sides are pretty good on this gun or if you're gonna use the gun either of these are decent to use uh, as well the m24 you can have a cog and a eight times so both of these scores are pretty pretty good i'll use this if you're playing maybe like crash site or uh, metro it's not a bad site to use you can see through most ranges with this uh then we have like the guns that you will probably be using the most that's probably the m16 that's what you start out with this gun can have red dot and holographic and flashlight uh, I would recommend using the red dot basically because you have less stuff that obstructs your screen when you're shooting at people. Um, this gun is really really good, like most of the guns in this game are really really good. Uh, this gun is definitely something that you either like, like you either like it or you hate it. Uh, that's basically how it is. But I would definitely recommend getting the AK-12 as soon as possible. This is probably the most used gun in the game right now, basically because you get it at a low level and there's a lot of people that don't really get to a high level really, really fast. So they like to use this. Uh, this can have Red Dot, Holographic and Cobra. I like the Cobra, but a lot of people are running the Red Dot. I'm really sucker for the Cobra site. Like I've always been a Cobra uh, player. Like I always like the Cobra site in any games I play. Uh, and I can have a flashlight. Uh, this gun is like really good at long ranges because it has a really steady recoil and it's good at long or medium and short ranges as well. Uh, so this is just overall a good gun. It's like the M16 but uh, the M16 is a bit weaker uh, and uh, yeah probably like I would rather get this than the M16 to be honest. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear by my voice, it's a bit, uh, I'm having a block in the right now, but yeah, like, so definitely this is just a better version of the M16, like, don't get me wrong, the M16 is still really, really good uh, for what it gets, 
Uh, another movie we've already begun that probably not a lot of people like to try it and then they don't know don't know what to feel about it. It's the AK forty seven. You can have the red dot and cobra. Uh, as I said, I prefer cobra, but there's no big difference between its only uh, preference. Uh, this gun is like really really good if you can tap heads with it, like a two shots people. So it's basically a two tap at most ranges with it. Um, but it does have a little bit more recoil. I wouldn't say it has an, a massive amount of recoil, but if you crouch and use this gun. It's no problem uh, controlling the recoil. It's a really good gun um, to go up against, like if you're playing against a lot of AK-12 players and if you have a better aim than them, like if you're a bit above average maybe. This is a gun that I pick a lot just because I can win the gunfights more easily because this gun is more powerful but it has a bit more recoil and if you miss one or two shots that could probably be uh, a death sentence if they have an AK-12 or M16. Uh, it's a pretty good gun, like this is the gun that I would recommend people try out basically because uh, it's the hardest hitting assault rifle ex that has 30 rounds, like it hits harder than the AK-12, M16 and uh, G36C and AK-74M but it only has the Cobra and Red Dot which is pretty standard for most of the guns. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a good gun to use. As I said, it has a little bit more high power, but it has a lot, a little bit of slower fire rate and a little bit more recoil. But uh, if you can get used to it, like play with it for an hour or two and you get used to it, you can really feel how powerful it really, really is. Uh, moving on to the MK12, MK14. This gun, if you use this gun, you should never, ever lose a gunfight, like a fair on one on one gunfight. If you spot somebody first and you start shooting and you can hit your shots, they don't have a chance. This gun two shots people at most ranges, one headshot and one body shot and they're dead. Uh, it's probably the most broken gun in the game right now basically because it can two shot people and the way people use it right now it's kind of meta that they will sit in high traffic areas and just pick people off that's coming through that area. Uh, so I'll definitely give it a go like if you play a lot of valley and you're struggling against snipers and you don't really like the bolt action this is definitely a good gun to use. I like using it with a holographic just basically because I like playing more aggressive but the ACOG is really really strong on it as well. Uh, as I said one headshot one body shot and they're dead so this is probably the best gun like on paper or not on paper but like that if you want to only win gunfights you don't care to get like I wouldn't say it's the best gun to get like 100 to 130 kills with, like you can definitely do it, but there's a lot better guns like the AK-12 and M16 is better for that. But this will ensure that you're winning most of your gunfights, if not all of them. Uh, so I'd definitely pick this up if you're struggling a lot and if you're playing slow and you definitely just want to get like a couple kills, like 20 to 30 kills each game and you're happy with that, then this gun is probably for somebody who likes to play a little bit slower. Uh, moving over to the G36C. Uh, this gun is one of the best guns in the game, or it could be, uh, basically because the range on it is really, I wouldn't say bad, but it's it's really not that much, and it has only 25, dam uh, 25 damage as well, so it's the same as the M16, so it's basically a worse M16, but it's better at close range, and you run as fast with this as you run with a pistol, so you, have, you run a little bit faster with it than the other guns. Uh, so it definitely has its place, it's good on Metro, it's good on Crash Site, it's probably good on Valley as well, like it's really a good gun if you like to be up in their face, like you can kill people on range with it, um, but you can end up losing a lot of gunfights if they're decent players, you know, and it's like if you hit a lot of headshots with it, it's definitely a good gun to use in ranges, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, because it doesn't really have any recoil. This gun is a laser beam. It has less recoil than the 74 or than the AK-12 in my opinion. But it's the range that's killing it a little bit. But you can get up in their faces really really easy with it because you run faster with it. So it's a good gun. I would probably rank this as the top 3 gun in the game. Um, then you have the AK-74M. This gun is the best gun on paper. Like as I said the G46C can have hollow and red dot so I don't forget that. Uh, but AK-74M is the best gun on paper and the reason for that is that it can have Red Dot, Holographic, ACOG and Cobra so it has the most, ver like the most versatility in the game right now, like you can use it for whatever you want and it has more damage than all the other 30 rounders when I say when I mean 30 rounders I mean the A not the AK-47 uh, though but the M16, AK-12 and the G36C it pretty much gets where is it two more damage than the AK-12, right? And it can has an ACOG and it has 
I would say same damage or the same recoil and uh, uh, rate of fire as the AK-12. So it's the best gun on paper, in my opinion. It should be nerfed, uh, or they should give the ACOG to maybe the M16 or G36C uh to make people pick something else because this is like when people hit the level you need to use this place like the level 22 when people unlock this they will never go back to any of the other guns basically because it's that good the acog in this gun is superior like it still feels like hit scan me personally i like the core brown because i like to see what's around me when i'm shooting with it so it gives me a broader perspective of what i'm looking at uh i don't really like acogs in this game i use it on the scar basically um and I'll get to that one as well soon, but uh, basically I use the Cobra on this one because it feels like a good medium to long range rifle. Uh, but as I said, it's the most, it's the best gun on paper because you have all the sights in the game for it, uh, basically except the PSO and uh, 8 times. But it has 29 damage, range 360, so it has more range than the SCAR, which is kind of absurd, right? 330, 600, so the M16 has more range, that's basically the only thing the M16 wins on. Uh, accuracy from the hip, 47, 44 I mean, this one has 28, so and the recoil on it is, I know, it's amazing. So ba basically, when you get this gun, I would definitely use this gun, uh, but don't forget to use the other guns as well, because you, know, you want to have a little bit of variety when you play the game, but basically this gun is the top tier gun you would use in the game so if i would rank any guns like if i would say what you would get, go for when you play the game you start out with the m16 you get the red dot i would use the red dot not the holographic which is my personal preference though, even though the holographics looks really really good uh get the ak-12 and the mk-14 like you should have all these three guns really really early on this one is good for long ranges and this one is just an orbital beamer uh, then you get the SCAR, the SCAR is fun to play with, but you, it's still better to use the AK-12 in my opinion, but this gun is really, really fun to play with. Uh, and then I would kind of save my money, I would not buy the VSS, and I would not buy the M24. Like if you want to snipe, use the M24. Uh, maybe the AK-47, you really, really depends, it's like you're either going to like it or hate it. Uh, but as soon as you can, get the AK-74M. And play with that until you can unlock the other guns. Because you're probably going to use the G36C over the AK-74M. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this a little bit helpful. I know it's a little bit over the place. Uh, I don't really like to read from script. But uh, yeah, the guys have been asking to see how you attach attachments to the weapons. Uh, some people didn't. I guess they don't play the game or something. And they're just wondering how it works. But this is definitely my list. What I would use and what I would go for. But definitely the AK-74M is the best gun in the game right now. Uh, by far. Because it has more range than most other guns. Damage and recoil. And it has the ACOG and all the other sites. So yeah. I hope you guys found this helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.